For April 7th we have Obedient lives flow from obedient days, and victorious lives flow from victorious days. Alright. Lord Jesus, when you were born, uh, when you were being led out, <laughs> led out to be executed, after being bit, beaten, ridiculed, and spit upon, you said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, 34. Pilate gave sentence it should be as they required. Oh, 34, okay. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what give, what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Well, that's what it says in Luke, but in Mark it says he never says anything. So he was silent throughout. He only says like three words. And at the end, he says something else. Was it Saba Saba uh, Lebatami or something in Arabic? I don't know. If you can forgive those kinds of things by your strength and power, being totally innocent, I can forgive the things that have been done to me. Was he really innocent? I mean, some people say when he uh, said, Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, but what is God's unto God. I, some people say he meant. Give unto God what is God's. He meant the land. He said the coins were of Rome, but um, the land was the Jews, you know. So it wasn't quite so nice in the in respect to the Romans. As, as some people say, I don't really know for sure. Um, but it's a great sentiment, you know. You, sh you definitely should forgive others. Um, you should be able to do so. Um, I also acknowledge that people who have hurt me throughout my life haven't always known what they were doing or what repercussions their actions would have. Um, yeah, that's definitely true. Not everybody thinks about their actions before they do them. Uh, well, you do technically. Your brain controls the actions, but you don't always think about the outcome or the repercussions. You, Lord, are merciful and forgiving, even though I have rebelled against you. I... what? I don't see how you can really rebel against God, you know. He's supposed to be everywhere, and once you ask Jesus into your heart, you're forgiven forever. So, I mean, you have to kill somebody, you're, you know. Um, Daniel 9, 9. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Well, the writer of Daniel is saying specifically that he and a group of other people have rebelled against God. That's not technically everyone ever. Help me be merciful and forgiving to others. That's a great sentiment. We should all be helpful and merciful. Or, you know, what else is the purpose of life? If not to improve someone else's.